was yeah. you know, tears talking to her, and it was just a great moment for me, because Dime, when I was like 15, 16, I met him up in Lauderdale when he played at the Edge at that time, it was the yeah, vulgar display, mm -hmm. he just blew my mind, you know, when you're 16 years old, I mean, you see a guy like that that's so free at his guitar and, and so cool as a human being, mm -hmm. it's like, a, it just sticks with you the rest of your life. He rocked. Oh, uh, he did rock. <laughs> yeah, he did rock, for sure. And I've always wanted to make a road trip to their strip club in Texas. I, I mean, I've got to put that on the list yeah, of I'm things to do before I die. But yeah. anyway. Manifest. So tell me, <laughs> recent upcoming plans. What's what's next, like next week? What are you going to do? Uh, the ball's be? rolling. Rehearsing Come on. Crazy. Be, Rehearsing yeah. Culture Room Show. Oh, yeah, there's a Culture Room Show March 2nd with... Uh, Third? No, March 2nd. Second. It's the second, yeah. yeah. It's a Friday night with um, a couple other local bands and... Uh, Actually, heavy hitting local bands, uh, good friends of ours, SAC, mm -hmm. uh, which are great musicians, and they're just full. Of, can I say balls? Yes, we can full say that. Full balls in your mouth. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe you can't put it that okay. way, but. <laughs> full, full balls. Uh, balls to the wall. Balls to the wall. There you go. All right, there you go. <laughs> <Jeez>. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they are really ballsy. Okay, the guys are blushing more than the ladies oh in the room, God. so. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> That's another segment. Okay, well, anyhow, but yeah, Zach is playing, and uh, they're phenomenal. I mean, Mike is um, literally, you know, George Litch reincarnated. Yeah. I mean, he's literally, he's, he's screaming on the guitar, so it's great to see him. Adam is a total shredder, so. So what is the best way to get a hold of the CD for those listening right now that want to pick up this album? Uh, Agora.org, A-G-H-O-R-A dot org, O-R-G, or go to cdbaby.com. There you go. Type in Agora. Uh, you can get it through Amazon and through other places, but Agora.org and CD Baby, it goes right to us. We yeah, write, we keep so. more of the profit. Yeah, and, and, you and know, that's Ag important. Agora's, it's quicker, too. Agora's not, yeah, it is quicker, actually, believe it or yeah. not. Uh, people have been ordering through Amazon, and they're complaining that they haven't been getting it in time, but people through CD Baby get it literally three to four days after. They Sweet. Order it. Yeah, and, and the thing is, is that we're not on a label. We're on our own, and totally independent, so any help we can get definitely is, you know, appreciated. But how cool is that freedom? Because believe me, I've, it 20 is. years I've known labels and not a whole lot of freedom. Well, you know what's really funny? At the NAMM show, I was talking to bands that, you know, like Shadows Fall and, and um, other bands in, in the industry. And, and um, I don't want to name names of all of them because it, it's all right. But basically, they were complaining to me about their how their label treats them and how they have Can you give us a little more of this? Or can you give us a little more of that? Or... Can I give you more details? No, that's what I'm saying. The, the oh, yeah, labels yeah, yeah, usually yeah, yeah, say yeah, yeah, the yeah. bands. The bands don't want to hear, hey, this is our album, dude. Well, We're done. Exactly. You know? and, and the thing is, like, I have a friend, you know, he's in a band. They've gone on world, literally three world tours. Okay, Metal band's pretty well known. They've got two records out. And uh, they've yet to see any money from their record label. <laughs> and Gian just dropped his, his mic. mic went well, so, he had the special mic, mic anyway. Yeah, he's got the special one. But anyhow, <laughs> you know, they, he gets they've the never, shortest chair, the special mic. They've never seen any money. And they're on... A pretty well-known yeah. big label. I'm not going to say any names. Well-known label um, that didn't even look twice at us. I mean, they they didn't even give a rat's butt about us. You know what I mean? We tried to go get on that label and they didn't care. <laughs> but here's the thing. So they asked us how much money we make, and not that we make money, but you know we have sold some CDs and we right. have been selling. But because it goes back to the band, it goes back to 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 basically the unit of what we are. They couldn't believe that. They thought I was like lying to them. And I'm like, look, man, <laughs> no, do, do like the paradise, math. dude. I'm like, do the math. You sell a thousand CDs, you you recoup ten bucks a pop. You know, mm -hmm. it's just it makes sense to to do it on your own. And and I think if more bands do that, the industry will change. Well, and I think with the internet, we're starting to see that. Exactly. CDbaby.com. So many bands. Earth, man. Exactly. They pay you nine bucks a CD. For, you know, it's like. Who does it? Amazon pays you four dollars a CD. Really? I mean, they're incredible. And CD Baby has gotten it on seventy-three different global distributors. They put it on iTunes. They handle everything, and they send you a check every week. Sweet. Like, I'm done with that. And I know a lot of bands have gone that way. Well, you have to. And you can now. You have to because recording the only way technology. Money. If you have a decent enough computer and the right, right mics and the right place to do it, you can do a decent sounding album. I mean, Adele and Pro Tools, that's what I did. I'm telling <laughs> you. Know? And Adele's got like scotch tape around it. You know, it's dying. You know? Keep the Pro Tools that. running. Yeah, yeah. It literally. A fan. A fan <laughs> the fan's like about to die. But, you know, it's funny. The industry is changing so fast, but people are so, still kind of blinded by it, and they really think that they need a record contract. They need this. They there need was that. a time. Yeah, you needed that media now. machine. Right. 
But, well, I mean, we talk about MySpace a lot, and it's kind of a joke, but it's not. It's Literally. 154 million people, and the greatest... MySpace is the best way The to best promotional opportunity for any movie, any band, any TV show, or stupid Absolutely. disc jockey in the Keys. You know, it's um, unbelievable opportunity. No, you're this right. Is a way and it's for, free. For anyone sitting at home wanting to be... who want their music to be heard. Mm -hmm. You don't have to leave your house. Well, and also, for a fan to connect with an artist that before it was impossible, you'd have to like go to the show and maybe wish you might meet him, yeah. which you or might not. And lucky enough to win backstage passes and then right. be in a cattle call and not, right. you know, shake a hand and walk by. Exactly. So. Although there's still... Um, there's still can a lot I, can of I that. Can I say douchebags? Sure. There's still a lot of douchebags in the industry, too. Absolutely. So, you know, even if you do meet them on MySpace, they're still douchebags. <laughs> <laughs> you know, doesn't change their douchebaggishness, you know, whatever. But, uh, but, yeah, I mean... Is that a word? I don't know. But, you know, that's the thing. And, I, and I, I'm hoping that Agora can spark that in other musicians and other people that, you know, all it takes is getting your friends together or, or finding someone that really believes in you and get a small investment and get your stuff together. And get serious. And get serious, you know. You have the power to do it. You, know? you have the power to make your own music and get it out there and get heard. You don't need... Because you know, now really the tools are available to every man. Totally. Which is you know? amazing. Exactly. Well, speaking of amazing, we going to play something? Uh, sure, sure, whatever you want. Uh, I, I, I think that's kind of up to you. I mean... Um, sure. <laughs> we were kind of laughing in the beginning. Yeah, what are we going to play? Uh... <laughs> yes, Adam is here. Zeppelin! Opening track. Well, we've got, you've got the record here, right? Right here. <laughs> so you can play whatever you want off, off that record. And then I've got my acoustic guitar here. I well, what would you like us to play off this record? And we'll do that while you set up the guitar. Um, play the first track. Cool. Uh, well, I mean, the actually, second, well, the, second the second track. track. Well, second. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play them to seg together. How about there that? Go. There you go. It's Agora on Summit of 3.1's 10 o'clock news. Right on.